Your Eminence Archbishop Demetrius, Your Eminence Metropolitan Sotirios, Your Eminence Metropolitan Erasmus, Your Eminence Your Graces, fellow priests. In the legal world, when someone, an attorney sums up, sometimes says, I rest my case. All the hierarchs sitting at the dais have either studied, taught, or administrated at the school. 90 plus percent of the clergy sitting out here graduated from the school. A good percentage of the uh, catechetical leaders now in our parishes are female graduates of our school. So just pointing to them, I would rest my case as to what's happening at Helena College and Holy Cross. Accreditation took place this past fall. We received a continuance, is the word that used in accreditation, both Helena College and Holy Cross, 10 years and seven years respectively. The US government is playing a major role in accreditation now, and so we're pleased that we've continued our accreditation. We fully agree, and we've showed it in our self-study of the three areas of notation and concern that we have. Uh, one being we have to do a better job in evaluations, we have to find some area to find the resources for the property that we purchased so the developers wouldn't go there. You can see in the book that you have in your te text a very transparent financial report as well. The operating budget has been in the black for many years now. Our challenge is for the property that was next to be purchased from next door before the recession. I want to thank His Eminence. Uh, for putting together the Finance Committee of the Archdiocese and the, our Finance Committee for a wonderful meeting uh, about a month ago. We will address that. We have a very healthy faculty, a very healthy student body. Um, we have a wonderful 75th anniversary coming forward. This, this evening I will be able to introduce the film and say other things in a s short presentation. But for now, on your behalf, um, especially on behalf of your grandchildren, and some of you, your children. I thank Helen Carlos, executive committee mem member of our board of trustees, who comes up every month, sometimes twice a month from Atlanta, who has accepted the leadership, chairmanship of the 75th anniversary, and who is leading us into great waters of resource uh, for financial support for our school. But every time we go out, we also meet possible potential new students. Helen, thank you for what you're doing. Please come forward. Your Eminence, Archbishop Demetrius, your eminences, and Reverend Clergy and friends. Um, I'm just going to talk for a minute about our campaign 75 for 75. As you know, the school is celebrating its 75th anniversary, and it's come to our attention, um, possibly you've known this in your parishes, that uh, our faithful across the country really are not aware or they're not aware enough about the need of the school um, and for the future of our children. So we've designed a campaign for the 75th anniversary. It's a, co a commemorative album. The minimum uh, sponsorship is $75. And the, the beauty of this campaign is it will have history, photographs, knowledge about the school. So a, a, a new uh, a new face for the school, it will, it will bring them, uh, you know, maybe this year they'll do 75, but when they learn the importance and the, and the need of the school, they'll, uh, they'll just want to be more of a donor and more of a supporter. And so we're just um, thankful to all of you who have already contributed. Uh, Philopticals has been great. Um, we've, we've really um, been happy with how it's been going, but we need to, we need to do more. So please, but before you leave the Congress, consider going ahead and making your contribution and go back into your parishes and um, spread the good news. Thank you. Just a few sentences from the president of the Student Government Association, Andrew Pavlakos. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Your Eminence, Archbishop Demetrius, Your Eminence, Metropolitan Sotirios, all of the uh, Synod 
and all of you for being here, Reverend Fathers and esteemed delegates. Uh, also, I'd like to thank Helen Carlos for all the work that she's done. Very briefly, I'd like to share with all of you some of the happenings, some of the events, and some of the things that the students do at the school, so you can feel more attached to your school, because it's not our school, it's, it's everybody's school. It's not just my school, it's not just Father Nick's school, it's everybody's school. Uh, this semester, we did a fundraiser for IOCC, where the students put together over $1,400 to help other people. Uh, almost every weekend, we have different cultural events, whether it's going to a museum, uh, a lamb roast, or any other f fun activity, we do that. Uh, our athletics committee this year has grown. We have intramurals. We do all kinds of different sporting events. Uh, this year, the Student Government Association also gave out over $5,000 in scholarships. And another amazing program that is available for all of the archdiocese to participate in is the ambassadors program uh, in which students, men and women, can come to lead retreats at your parishes and take some of the burden off of the other leaders to organize what needs to be taught to our young people and also to present to them a little bit about the school so they know what's going on. I'd just like to share those with you and, and thank you for your time.